Hello guys, on this channel I want to release a few videos from my recent course Filament 4 from scratch about the new features of Filament 4. I recently finished the video version of this course, so today you will see a video custom data from external API in Filament 4, and then in a few days I will publish another video, multi-factor authentication, also a new thing in Filament 4. And if you want the full course, two and a half hour long, I will link that as well in the description below. In this video, I want to show you another new feature in Filament version 4. In tables, you can specify that the data should come not from Eloquent model, not from database, but from external API, for example. So let's create a Filament page with a table that would consume random public API. Disney API of characters. Not a serious business case, but that everything has to be really serious. So we have REST and GraphQL API. So if we launch that URL in a separate browser window, the source is this, JSON with results. So a lot of data about Disney characters. How do we put that on filament page? First, let's create make filament page of characters, not in a resource. And then inside of that page, we'll add implements has table and then Inside, we need to add use interacts with table like this, with this on top, and then inside, we need to define the method called table. And instead of having query from character, eloquent model, and columns, we will add something different. I will paste it from my notes, and we also add table here in filament tables, and then HTTP client from Laravel. And then inside, we have image column, and text column from regular filament table. And the final part is to fill in the character's blade view, which is here inside of panels page. We just need to provide this table like this. And now let's refresh our page. We have characters here without any icons, but that doesn't really matter. And as you can see, we have image URL and name from Disney API. So it's not from our local database. In the official documentation of Filament, you can read about that in the section of custom data for the tables. It's not just external API, you can specify static data. And this general section is pretty long. So how do you define columns, sorting and other stuff? So you can make it work like a regular Filament table with some manual work in addition to just the source of data. So pagination is also important. So there's a lot of manual work, but now in Filament 4, it is possible to get the data from external API. 